Hey, what's up guys? Nadia and Sands back again with another very exciting episode of Learn How to Edit Stuff. I am exhausted today. I did not sleep very well. But my lack of sleep doesn't mean you can't still learn something today. So today we're gonna be doing something kind of cool in After Effects, a little added design element to your videos or photos if you wanna jazz them up a little bit. I just had to make this for work. It is a Team Liquid MSI jersey announcement video. And as you can see, I'm doing some like red, white, and blue panels on the video. So today we're gonna take a look at how to do that in After Effects to kind of jazz up and make your footage or photos seem a little more interesting. So if you have some photos or video that you wanna just add a little bit of design aesthetic to, today's gonna be a good video for you. So why don't you go ahead and open up Adobe After Effects because we're getting started. All right, boys and girls, Adobe After Effects is open and on my timeline, I have a nice skyline photo of the city of Chicago. And we're gonna make this look a little bit more interesting today by using the cool panels that you saw in the intro of this video. First things first, take your layer that you have, whether it's a picture or a video, and just duplicate it on top of itself, just for now. And then we're gonna take this top video, hit S on the keyboard, and we're gonna scale it up just a little bit more than where it currently is. So if you toggle these on and off, you can see that it's just basically a scaled image on top of itself. That's step one. Step two is going to be coming up here to layer, new shape layer, and dropping that down onto the timeline, tooling down the little layer properties over here on this side, going to add and add a rectangle and also add a fill. The fill color doesn't matter because you won't actually see this when we're done, but let's come over here to the rectangle path and let's scale it up just a bit like this. And then we're gonna unclick this little link box here and we're actually just gonna scale the width of this guy like pretty long. That looks good for now. And then what we'll do is click on the layer, hit R to rotate it, and we'll just kind of rotate it on a 45 degree angle. Now the goal of this is going to be to make this be our moving pane here that masks the photo or video behind it so that we can get a cool design element. So if you guys want a thinner one, you can make it thinner. If you guys want a fatter one, you can make it fatter. I recommend making it a bit fatter because you'll get more of the image actually masked out. So right about there looks good for me. And then what we'll do is we'll actually come to this layer here, make sure that you go to the toggle switch modes if you don't see the track mat uh, panel here. So toggle switch mode track mat and set this to alpha mat shape layer one and what that's going to do is it's going to use this shape layer as a masking tool to kind of mask the scaled image underneath it as you see the top of the hancock building is here but if i move the panel over it is now over here it's basically just masking the scaled one on top of itself which is exactly what we want so for this i'm going to start it right about here i'm going to set a position keyframe on my shape layer come all the way down to the end of my composition which is five seconds long and i'm just going to hold down shift and click and drag over just like so. So now if I play this, we have this nice little mask. It's very clean and it's just kind of like masking the scaled image over itself, which I think is really super cool. But we can actually take it a step farther and come down here to our bottom layer. And what I'm gonna do is come up here to effect, come to color correction and hue and saturation adjustments. And I'm gonna click this little checkbox that says colorize. And then I'm gonna pump up the saturation of the colorization just a bit. And I'm gonna mess with the hue just a bit. Let's try to get it in a nice blue color here. Something like that looks pretty good. And then what I'm gonna do is uh, just duplicate this bottom layer again, the blue layer, come down to the bottom, delete the hue and saturation off. I know that's kind of confusing. Come to the layer right above it, hit T on the keyboard for opacity and just lower the opacity down. So now we're kind of just giving it this you know, 50%, 60% opacity kind of bleed into the blue. There's the original image and we're just bringing it up into the blues like so. Last step, I think for me, would be to come up to layer, new adjustment layer. And we're just gonna pop this adjustment layer right on top of our two bottom layers. And we're going to come up here to effect, blur and sharpen and Gaussian blur. And we're just gonna add a blur to this colorized kind of background layer here. And don't forget to turn on repeat edge pixels. And now it kind of looks like it's unmasking like a pane of glass almost. So if we play this, we have a very cool like kind of frosted colored glass effect, like it's blurry over here, which makes it look like glass, but then this part of the image is really nice and crisp. So if you guys want to highlight a certain part of the image, uh, this is gonna be a great way to do it. And you're not bound to, you know, just this, right? If you guys wanted to actually come down here, hit U on the keyboard to see your animation properties, we'll just delete these position data points here. We can rotate it back and maybe do something like this. And now we can just move this up in position. So I'll set a position keyframe here and come over here and and set it up here. So now we're doing kind of a vertical mask reveal instead of a horizontal diagonal mask reveal. And you guys can make this shape layer a circle, a triangle, a star, whatever you guys want to use over your photo or video to make it look a little bit more dynamic, a little bit more high end. And it's not a whole lot of work from you. Apologies for the short video today, guys. I don't feel that great, but hey, just because it's short doesn't mean it's not useful. Just ask Napoleon. 
Anyways, hope you learned something cool today. Make your photos and videos look a little bit more dynamic, a little bit more high end with just some very simple masking techniques. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and also check out the last video that you missed. We do them here weekly, even if I'm running on no sleep and kind of feel like crap at learn how to edit stuff. We try to deliver quality content week after week. <laughs> subscribe, check out the last video and I'll see you guys next time.